friends, we have terrible news. Tony was in a car accident. The doctors did everything they could and healed all of his wounds. But unfortunately, our friend fell into a coma. A coma is a severe condition in which the body continues to live, but the person is in a deep state of unconsciousness. Roughly speaking, people in a coma are between life and death. By the way, the word comes from the ancient Greek and means deep sleep. This condition can be caused by a variety of reasons. For example, brain injury, as in Tony's case. It is also possible to fall into a coma after a stroke or other blood circulation disorder, when the brain does not get enough blood to work properly and goes into a sort of standby mode. It is also very common for people to go into a coma after an overdose of alcohol, medicines, or drugs. Right now, Tony is probably dreaming, but since there is no consciousness, he doesn't understand or realize what he is seeing and, of course, he won't remember it. Although, anything can happen, and many patients, upon awakening from a brief coma, have recalled and recounted their experiences. Very often, patients talk about some kind of corridor or tunnel with a bright light at the end. Doctors believe this is how the brain reacts to the light of the lamps above the operating table. Some see battles and plots from books and movies they've read and watched before. Some patients said they relived their own lives while in a coma. And some said they communicated with otherworldly forces and met with relatives and loved ones who had already died. By the way, it used to be believed that people in a coma were completely unconscious, meaning they could not hear or feel anything. However, recent data have shown the opposite. Modern CT scanners have revealed that when you talk to a patient, certain areas of their brain responsible for different reactions are activated. This means that the person reacts to speech, to touch, perhaps even partially understands some words. They may not be aware of this, but nevertheless, the brain recognizes some familiar voices and becomes active, which increases the chance of a speedy recovery. However, this hasn't been properly studied and remains unverified. After all, from the point of view of medicine, any sensation in a comatose state is impossible, since the brain is unable to process incoming information and react to it. Nevertheless, Tony really needs care. We need to communicate and talk to him. Did you hear that, Tony? Hey! Hello! <laughs> that rascal! He probably fell into a coma on purpose because he didn't want to work on our video. Lazy little brat. <clears throat> I'm sorry, folks. That was too much. I'm just really worried about Tony. By the way, on average, people spend two to four weeks in a coma. If there is no change after a month, then the chances of a safe awakening decrease. Although some people have been able to return to their normal lives after being in a coma for several years. For example, Terry Wallace. In June 1984, he was involved in a car accident with a friend. The friend died and Terry fell into a coma. According to doctors, there was little hope that he would come out of it. However, in 2003, 19 years later, Terry suddenly woke up. Not without consequences, though. He was stuck in time 19 years ago, felt like a 20-year-old guy, and refused to recognize his daughter because he remembered her as a baby. Terry also suffered from short-term amnesia and couldn't remember any event longer than a few minutes and his muscles had weakened so much during his 19 years in bed that he literally had to relearn how to walk, move his arms, and pick up objects. Let's keep our fingers crossed for Tony and hope he wakes up soon. Wait a minute, am I seeing things? No, it's true. His eyelids are opening. Hi, Tony. Me and all your subscribers are very happy that you are awake. Okay, friends, Tony will be fine, but he needs rest and relaxation for now so we'll call it a day. By the way, we had an interesting video about what happens to a person's body after death. If you're interested, click on the link that's coming up right here on the screen or in the description. Make sure to write some feel-good wishes for Tony in the comments. I'm sure when he reads them, he'll recover a lot faster and make another cool video for you. Bye-bye!